DeepXCAV presentation video part 1 Welcome to DeepXCAV DeepXCAV is a software program that is capable to perform analysis with limit equilibrium methods and non-linear analysis as well. In the non-linear analysis method we use Winkler springs on both sides of the wall. The Winkler springs are depending on each stage and they help us to capture more realistic results. DeepXCAV offers us the ability to have up to two walls in the same model. As well as, we can include more than one design sections at the same time. Including several design sections in the same model can help us analyze our whole project in only one file. First of all, let's introduce the major features of DeepXCAV and how the logical sequence of the tabs is laid out. General tab includes general information about the project, model limits and some examples that may help us get started using the program. As well as, we provide a wizard that helps us generate quickly an excavation model. Next, the Properties tab contains various information about borings, soils, wall sections, structural sections of support such as anchors, slabs, struts, helical anchors, and also we provide information and settings about the structural materials that are being used. In the Model tab, we can define the borings and the stratigraphy. We can easily add a second wall to the model and delete it. We can change the surface and the water elevations. And we can add and delete construction stages. As well as, we provide some more advanced features. Next, in the Load Support tab, we can arrange the load options and the support options. We can easily add loads and supports choosing from the toolbar. Next, at the Seismic tab, we can choose to include seismic loads. In the Analysis tab, we can define the basic analysis settings. We can choose the Analysis method here we can choose the design approach, we can choose the water behavior, and we can define the method for the active and passive coefficient calculations. Next, we have the slope tab, which is an extra module which includes a calculation for failure surfaces and soil nailing. In the Stability tab, we can define our safety factors. In the Design tab, we can select the designing codes for steel and for concrete. Next, we have the Results tab, where we can see the results presented on the screen after the analysis is performed. At the Reports tab, we can arrange to export the model and the results to a PDF or a Word format. We can also see here the calculation summary tables. And we can see the calculation progress file. Next, we have the View tab with various view options. The Optimize tab that offers us the structural optimization with which we can find the most efficient sections. Finally, we have the Help tab with some tips and things that uh, can make our life easier. In addition, in this tab we include all the technical and the theory manuals. On the left side, there is a toolbar with several items that can be added to the model. In the Design Sections area, there are presented the created design sections. By right-clicking here, 
We can choose to edit the design section name, to add the design section or to delete the design section. All this can be done also by using the buttons down here. In this area there is a tree view that shows all the items that are included in the project. These items are the design sections, soils, stratigraphy and borings, the structural materials, the wall sections and the structural sections for all the supports. So, let's begin to create a simple model with a single wall and a single anchor in metric units. First of all, we go to the General tab and if we press the Project Info button, we can define the project information. We can change the project name, the file number and the engineer number. By pressing the model elevation, we can change the elevation. The program gives the possibility to work with actual elevations, which count from the top of the wall. Let's change the elevation to 100 meters and apply this change to all boreholes. Here we can see that the general elevation is changed. The model dimension and limits button can helps us create a nice viewing model. Next we go to the properties tab. By pressing the edit soil type data button we can edit the soil properties. Here we can add a new soil, we can delete the soil and by choosing the existing soils we can edit the soil properties. Here we can change the soil name, the soil type, the unit weights, the cohesion, the soil friction angle the permeability and the at rest coefficients. In the other tabs we can choose the soil model and behavior and the options that we provide is elastoplastic, exponential and subgrade modulus model. Here we have the loading elasticity parameters and the reloading elasticity modulus. In the tab D bond, we can define the ultimate bond resistance for tiebacks. By pressing the show test data button, we can see some tools that can help us estimate soil properties. So now we can go to the A general tab and we can change the total density to 21 kilonewtons per cubic meter. If we go to the D-Bond tab, we can change the ultimate bond resistance for tiebacks to 120 kPa. We click OK. And now we can press the Borings button in order to change the stratigraphy. We can choose to add a new soil layer. We choose to add a layer with a top elevation of 80 meters and we use a layer S1. And we click OK. Next, we can edit the wall section. To change the wall section, we can either double click on the wall or press the edit wall sections data button here. Here we can choose to use a seat pile wall and choose a section of AZ19.
Now the wall section is changed. In DeepXCAV we provide various uh, wall section types as soldier pile walls, second pile walls, tangent pile walls, diaphragm walls, SPTC walls and custom walls. By double clicking on the wall we can see that the wall section is changed. Here we can change the wall depth to the depth 19 meters and we press OK. End of part 1. In part 2 we will describe how to perform an excavation and how to add support to the model as well as some further features of the program. Visit our webpage in order to download a free trial version of our software program and please feel free to contact us.